Hello and welcome to this financial news update. I'm Phil Fothergill. Today we're learning more about Doxim, the customer communication management service, who've launched an exciting new platform for here in the UK. Later, we'll be talking to two of their senior executives about this new platform. Customer communications management. It's not easy to get it right. You need a plan for serving customers in the future, but without ignoring the business realities of today. Digital communication is exploding, but different segments of your customer base embrace digital at different rates, and many of your important customer touch points still take place on paper and through the mail. Add in the fact that customers want choices in how they interact with you, and things get complicated fast. You need the right combination of technology solutions, processes, and professional expertise, all working together to deliver an optimal customer experience that drives loyalty, sales, and growth. Doxum is your trusted partner in customer communications management, providing CCM solutions for the future, ready for you today. Mike Rogalski is President and CEO of Doxim. Hello, Mike Rogalski, and thank you for joining us from New York today. I'd like you to tell us a little bit more initially about the origins of Doxim, where it came from, and what the plans are. Yeah, Doxim was founded uh, in 2000, and over the uh, the last 20 years, we've expanded uh, geographically uh, and exponentially to really provide digital omni-channel, which includes print services across North America. Uh, our success has really been a result of strong organic growth, strategic uh, M&A activity, uh, private equity investment, all supported by a very loyal client base in over 850 now dedicated Doxim employees. Tell us a little bit more about how you've come to launch your CCM solution here in the UK and the reasons for doing it. Well, uh, late last year, Doxim acquired uh, Striata, and this was a company with their own communication platform and operations in the UK, Asia Pacific, and, and South Africa. And it's this acquisition that's going to enable us to really bring the broader CCM solution offering to Striata's existing clients. And we really hope to attract many new clients and, and really build uh, the Doxim business in these markets. And why do you think it is that Doxim will actually appeal to the UK market? I think the Doxim CCM solution is, is different. We are really bringing a modern SaaS software platform which will offer tailored solutions specifically to the financial sector, utilities. We really are positioning ourselves as a, a, a reliable, you know, single reliable partner with a strong vision and the ability to execute. We have the technology, the scale, a very stable client base. We think we're, we're even though we're growing, we're, we're a very nimble and visionary and innovative organization and in that this is our first step into these geographies and we look to continue to expand our offering, uh, look to grow in new markets and are really excited about the opportunity that lies ahead. Well, tell me, do you think there is a, a secret ingredient or a USP to the, the Doxim operation? Yeah, the secret ingredient is Thousand Island dressing, now, um, as I joke. Uh, our value proposition really enables organizations to consolidate all of their customer communications across what I like to say omni-channel, but think print and digital onto a a single CCM platform and really consolidate with one vendor and pay a, a predictable price, a, a one price, one fee per month, and we will handle your data and all your communications via whatever channel your customers want. Well, it's been a very tough year for everybody, especially during the pandemic. What do you see the challenges are that lie ahead for you for the rest of 2021? Well, with COVID, the requirements for communication, I believe, have, have really shifted. Uh, the impact of COVID-19 uh, with many people working from home really has meant fewer face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. Organizations must find uh, scalable ways to orchestrate and distribute uh, their communications to, to their customers. Uh, those communications still have to be personalized, legally compliant, and with the customer's evolving expectations and changes, uh, even as the world uh, went on lockdown and continues to, to battle COVID, uh, the expectations are still there. Uh, customers have demands and, 
and, and it's up to these organizations to meet those demands. And I think Doxum really can partner with our existing clients and, and new clients that we attract to make that happen. Mike Rogalski there, who's CEO and president of Doxim. To find out more about the launch of this exciting new service here in the UK, let's turn now to James Hall, who's actually commercial director of Doxim. Well, James, thank you for talking to us today from London. Obviously, the pandemic, the COVID pandemic, has been extremely challenging for all of us. How do you think businesses actually have been affected in the way they communicate with their customers these days? Yeah, I, I think, you know, it's an interesting one. I think COVID's changed the way uh, we live. It's changed the way we communicate. We've had to adapt very quickly to working from home, uh, video calls, less face-to-face -face interaction. Um, a report by McKinsey stated that we vaulted forwards five years in just eight weeks at the start of COVID. So, you know, what we've seen is that a lot of businesses have had to put in digital solutions very quickly. Um, and what that could mean is potentially a negative customer experience. And it's worth circling back in a number of cases and looking to put in solutions that are both future proof and customer centric. Yes, and what would you see are the, the current market trends in CCM or customer care management here in the UK right now? We're seeing uh, four major trends within the market. And, you know, the first one would be the shift to cloud. Uh, a lot of organizations that use on-premise are falling behind, and we're seeing that becoming very much a thing of the past. Uh, those who already moved to cloud-based solutions during COVID or before uh, are able to react faster and be more agile and are therefore better set up. Um, so I think the second trend we're seeing is CX is combining with CCM um, and we believe that, you know, CX being customer experience and, and CCM being customer communications management, that ultimately customer experience will um, have CCM as a subset and may CCM may disappear into the future. So. Um, that's an interesting one. It's the third part that we're seeing, the third trend is vendor consolidation. So the customers are looking to save money, but also to enhance the customer experience. And at this stage, it's very important that you check the background of the CCM supplier. Have they got a lot of customers? Do they have a good track record? Um, are they moving with the times? Do they have cloud solutions? Do they have APIs? And last but not least, we're seeing artificial intelligence really make a change in the market. And this is enhancing and, and really bringing rich customer experiences forward. So this could be anything from a communication that's done you know, through the right channel at the right time with the right content, or it could be the content itself is, is enhanced using AI, such as a portfolio statement, for example. You know, has your portfolio gone up or down? And this could be a high volume set of documents that's sent out, but the AI provides that information as to why your portfolio went up during the recent period. How would you describe what the main communications are within the package that you offer, and how do you actually offer customers a true omni-channel experience? So I think within the UK, we're seeing a 50-50 split between digital and print. Obviously, over time, the, the amount of print is, is generally going down. And speaking very generally, you're looking at uh, documents and communications uh, being received either in the post or via email, and customers can go and receive their documents, retrieve them by logging on to a portal. From a marketing perspective, we're seeing that email is really very much the driving force, but print is still here to stay for a long time, and, and a lot of customers do respond to marketing from print. Well, tell us a little bit more and indeed describe what you think the challenges and preferences are for financial services around the world. I think that um, the priorities for, for the financial service providers are really to, to save money and at the same time improve the customer experience. They've also got the, the, the challenge of moving their legacy systems across to cloud-based solutions. Um, and as they do this, they need to do it in such a way that they're building up their data um, so that they can provide the best possible customer experience. It really needs to be highly personalized. And that's what customers are now expecting. So, yeah, and, and lastly, they have to do all of this whilst keeping it secure, all of the data secure, the personal information. They have have to have a secure framework to achieve all of this. 
Well, we've talked about it a little. Uh, perhaps you could tell us a bit more about the DOCSIM customer care management system. Yeah, so it's, it's one supplier, one simple price where we enable customers to focus on their customer experience. We work with some of the world's largest banks, so you can be assured that you're in a safe pair of hands. We have fully compliant systems, so we have ISO 27001 certification, we have WCAG 2.0, which means that our systems and communications are, are accessible. So, you know, if customers have to use screen readers or screen magnifiers, they're very much included as part of the customer communications. So what would you see as being your value proposition then? Yes, a, a fantastic customer experience doesn't need to be complex. I think the key here is that we are one supplier with one platform providing, you know, with a predictable price for all of your digital print and communications. And on top of that, we can provide, you know, consultancy to really to really dive in and, and provide the best possible experience. So, you know, I, I think we're in a great place in this market. Obviously, in this day of modern communications, cybersecurity is of great importance. How do you manage security at Doxim? Yeah, so we have a, a dedicated security and compliance team, and we, we've done so for well over 10 years. And that shows that it really sets us apart with a, with a lot of other suppliers. And it's not just about ticking a box for us. We do security to be secure. And we have the ISO 27,000 27, certification. Um, and we also, you know, assess our employees, make sure they understand their responsibilities. We train them on a regular basis and they have to pass exams. Well, we know there's a vast range of services out there in the financial world. Why should people choose Doxim? So I think really our, our track record is, is important here. We, we look to understand their goals. Our dedicated account management team um, looks to understand what those goals are and then help the clients achieve those. And our 96% client retention rate really really sums this up, that we understand what their needs are and that, you know, we're there for a long-term partnership. So I think ultimately, you know, if you're looking to move to the cloud, you want the best possible customer experience and you want to save money, then give us a shout and book in a demo. We're wishing you every success with the launch of the new service. Thank you so much, James Hall, for talking to us and earlier on to Mike Rogalski as well.